Dana Malcolm. This is your Top Stories Morning Edition for Thursday, April 4th, 2024. Coming up, it is the news that matters most. Get armed with an alarm system from Spent Security. What if you didn't wait until your home was invaded, your family threatened, or left to the mercy of a gun-carrying intruder? What if you didn't wait for someone to enter your business and put your staff and customers at risk? And what if you made your home less attractive to burglaries and trespassers? With alarm systems starting at $499.99, Spend Security can get you armed with cameras, panic buttons, emergency notifications, and best of all, Spend Security installs. Low monthly monitoring from $79.99 when you sign up for one year. Conditions apply, so contact Spend Security today. Dependable, professional, service you can trust. That's Spend Security. Sinclair Musgrove says she is headed back to Grenada to get Genevo Hanfield Agenor, the member of John Canoe band North Caico Stars, who was left stranded in the country after his travel documents fell short of U.S. requirements. Musgrove says it may take them flying all the way to Canada and then to Providenciales, but she's willing to do it after other attempts to get him back home to TCI failed. Incredibly, to thousands of TCI residents, one of the teenagers who traveled to Grenada as part of the Bahamas' Junkanoo Ensemble for the 51st Carifta Games, is still there, stuck after he was not allowed to board his flight when it was discovered his ESTA, a U.S. border clearance document, was cancelled and he could not go through the United States. This is the height of foolishness, man. And then the thing is, you don't say nothing to me and you don't say nothing to his mommy. I mean, people had to be calling me and telling me that J.E. ain't on the flight. Listen, listen, you better... (laughs) In <laughs> any way. That is a voice note circulated on Wednesday, a furious relative expressing herself unapologetically about the situation. It was hoped he would be able to get on an inter Caribbean Airways flight directly home on Wednesday morning, but that too did not pan out. This is Edith Skippings of the TC three A's. His passport is a British passport, saying Great Britain and Northern Ireland's up top, like every other British passport. And in the middle where it's supposed to say British citizens, there I guess it was a typist error on their end. And it says, Turks, I'm um, British overseas citizen. So they didn't allow him to travel. So Sinclair made a decision and we called for, for him, for him to try to come on Inter-Caribbean today, along with my athletes that were coming on Inter-Caribbean today. Because they left from here on into Caribbean because they don't have U.S. visas. The things that people are saying, how is that Sinclair left this child abandoned in a hotel by itself? It is not true. Now Aganor is staying with friends in Grenada. And while the Raymond Gardner High School student is said to be safe, that he was never left alone in a hotel room and that the issue was a complete surprise and one made by the British Passport Office. For many, the fact that adults boarded their flights and came home leaving the boy behind is inexcusable. Evacuations out of Haiti are continuing as news agencies report fresh violence. When Magnetic Media reached out to Interim Commissioner Chris Ayer, who is the Turks and Caicos' lead on securing the borders against the crisis, he directed us to a message shared weeks ago, indicating there was no deviation from the original plan for support as the crisis escalates next door. In the past few weeks, police have added to the force by hiring new officers. Magnetic Media questioned if the TCI would be adding troops to the stabilization effort. 330 law enforcement officers are being trained now in Jamaica. No date has been shared for the UN-backed mission to begin. Magnetic Media is your news leader. This is an important advisory from Digicel Turks and Caicos. All Digicel subscribers whose SIM cards were issued prior to July 2021, kindly visit your nearest Digicel store and have your SIM card swapped at no cost to you. There's also dedicated SIM swap teams that will be at different locations throughout the various islands on specific days. Please look out for the communication via SMS text message. This is a Telecoms Commission regulatory mandate and enhances network reliability and speed. Please swap your SIM cards as soon as possible to avoid mobile service interruption.
Residents are for the first time being invited into the Providenciales landfill as the Environmental Health Department attempts to display what it's been doing to dampen the fire hazard. In a press release on April 3rd, the EHD extended the invitation. The walkthrough sessions are to serve as a consultative forum where residents' questions will be answered and input received. The sessions will be held at specified times in groups of five, accommodated by the international CDB consultant supervising the program. Interested persons can call the EHD at 338-2144. The announcement came a day after Finbar Grant, attorney, resident, and political advocate, expressed a need for more clarification on what the new managers of the dump would be doing to earn $2.9 million of the public's money. The Power of Attraction Magnetic Media There is a butcher in store at the new Sunny Foods at the Blue Hills Roundabout. Visit the store for the same sunny service, same sunny selection, same sunny savings. Sunny Foods in Five Keys. Sunny Foods in Grand Turk. Two locations. Sunny Foods now in Blue Hills. Sunny says no one beats his prices. No one. <laughs> The Court of Appeal has quashed the conviction of Lopez Kino Williams after he was found guilty of sexual assault by penetration of a minor. Various issues with the technology of the evidence, which was presented as screenshots, and the lack of a trial transcript was what the defense used to get Williams out of the conviction. The order of the court is now to allow the appeal, quash the conviction and sentence, and order a retrial. It means Williams will not have to serve his four-year sentence and must go back back before the courts. For weather in the Turks and Caicos today, it will be partly cloudy skies, but still warm with a high at 83 degrees Fahrenheit. The UV index is supposed to be extreme. For tonight, it will be mainly clear with a low at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. That is it for this edition of the news. Thank you so much for starting your morning with us. I am Dana Malcolm. Top Stories in 5 is a magnetic media production.